Hey, what's up everybody? So as some of you know, pairing the Chase Freedom cards with one of the Chase Sapphire cards can make for a great one-two punch when it comes to earning points as well as redeeming them. I currently have the Chase Freedom Flex where I'm earning 5x on quarterly rotating categories, 3x on dining, 3x at drugstores, and 1x on all other purchases. I also have the Chase Sapphire Reserve which earns me 10x on hotels and car rentals as well as 5x on flights booked on the Chase Travel Portal. 10x on Chase Dining Purchases with Ultimate Rewards 3x on all other travel not booked on the Chase Travel Portal 3x on Dining and 1x on all other purchases So as you can imagine, I'm earning tons of points throughout the year with this two car setup Not only that, two of the superpowers of the Chase Sapphire Reserve is that you can redeem your points for travel on the Chase UR Travel Portal at a rate of 1.5 cents per point And also you can transfer your points to any of Chase's 14 airline and hotel transfer partners well today, I'm going to show you step by step how to take the points earned on your Freedom card and combine them with the points earned on your Sapphire card. So you can redeem all your points for travel at a rate of 1.5 cents per point for Sapphire Reserve card holders or 1.25 cents per point for Sapphire Preferred card holders. Or you can just transfer your points to partners, which is my preference. All this is perfect timing because I'm planning a trip over to Africa, so I need to combine my points so that I can transfer them to an airline I saw a good deal on. So let's jump right into it. All right, first, you're going to go to the Chase website and log into your account. Once you're logged in, you should see all your different accounts on the screen. I personally have a checking account as well as the old school Chase Freedom. And if I scroll down, you'll see my Chase Sapphire Reserve as well as my United Explorer card. But we don't need to scroll down because here on the far right, you see all my points. I currently have 46,472 Ultimate Reward Points and 62,867 United Miles. FYI, you can't do anything with your United miles here on the Chase website. You'll have to go over to the United site to use those, but it doesn't matter because we're only combining UR points here today. Now, if you click on your UR points, it should bring you over to a welcome screen where you'll see a breakdown of how many points you have on each individual card. As you can see here, I have 22,040 points on my Freedom card and 24,432 on my Sapphire card. To combine points, you can click on either card account. I'll just click on my Freedom card for this example, and it will take me over to the Chase Freedom Ultimate Rewards page. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do or see from this menu, but for us, we're going to click on the drop down menu located on the top left corner of the page. Here you have a bunch of different things you can do, like switch to another card account, check out the 5% rotating categories for this quarter, review the benefits on the card, and so on. Now, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the combined points option. So we're going to go ahead and click that. On this page, this is where we're going to start the process of combining points. On the left, you're going to select the account you'll be transferring points from, and on the right, you'll select the account you'll be transferring points to. You make your selection by checking the boxes on the top right hand corner of each account. After that's done, hit next. On this next screen, you're going to type in how many points you want to move. In my case, I'm moving them all, so I put 22,040. After that, I hit the review button. This brings me to a page where I can double check everything I did before final submission. Again, I moved 22,040 points from my Freedom account over to my Sapphire account. And now my new total balance on my Sapphire account is 46,472. If everything looks good here, just click submit and you're done. Now all my UR points are under one account, my Sapphire Reserve. And since they're all under that one account, they're worth 50% more when redeemed for travel on the Chase Travel Portal. Let's look at a few examples. I just picked some random travel dates to some countries I visited before, but first, you can fly from JFK to London, England for 37,256 points. Los Angeles, California to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil for 46,472 points plus $28 since I'm short a few points. And lastly, I can fly from Houston, Texas to Toronto, Canada for 28,752 points. Again, I visited all three of those cities and had a blast. Now for my upcoming trip, I won't be booking my flight on the Chase Travel Portal. I'll be transferring them to one of Chase's 11 airline partners. If you want me to make a how-to video on that, let me know down in the comment section. If you learned something in today's video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Also, for more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.